Hey everyone, today I will be teaching you how to write and call a function in MATLAB. The first step is to open up MATLAB. First of all, I want to say what is MATLAB? MATLAB is a programming application which is used usually to solve complex mathematical functions programming them. It stands for Matrix Lab. Matrix Lab. And for you guys who don't know what a function is, a function is simply to think about it like y equals mx plus b, the slope of a line. It's just an equation. But an equation <clears throat> an equation which has unknown variables which can be expressed in terms of other variables such as y equals mx plus b. Our first step is to go in the upper left corner and press new script. Now for the first line, we have to define our function name. So we will go to function, we will name our function function, slope equation, and then parenthesis, parenthesis. Now here, in this step, I want you guys to realize that all we did so far was define the name of our script file and what our function is called. This is helpful because this is exactly what we will be saving our script file as. And it defines what the equation is. So I just named my slope equation. Now in between the parentheses, we want to insert the inputs to the equation. So for y equals mx plus b, the inputs would be m, x, and then b. Those are all variables which we will put in ourselves. So I will define it as m comma x comma b. Okay, next we want to comment on what each of these variables are. This is helpful in all programming languages actually because if someone comes to your script file and reads it and says what what the heck is m what is x what is b having a comment will tell them what it is so for now i'm just going to say m m is the m is the slope of the line then here by the way to start a comment we have to put a parenthesis sign before the sentence itself. This way, this isn't like a code that has any function. This is just a comment. It does nothing. It's just for our purposes. So then we go x is the x coordinate of the line. And then we say y is the or sorry, B is the Y intercept of our line. So far, so good. As you can see, I screwed up and I actually put a dollar sign at first and I had to change it to a parentheses. So make sure that it is a parentheses that you are defining. Next, we want to define the equation itself. So the equation of a line is Y equals MX plus B. And then we put a semicolon. Please note that here the semicolon is very important. It suppresses the output. That means the output isn't, we won't see the output when we call the function on the command prop later. And this is very crucial for later things. Next, we want to output the me uh, proper message to our users. So we will define an fprintf statement. So here, I will just define it as this for now so I can explain it. A fprintf statement will output a next message to our user 
with the integers that we have defined for f printf. So in between the single quotation marks, I want to say the y, the or, hmm, what do I want to say that's easy? <clears throat> I will say the y coordinate of this line is semicolon. Or colon, sorry. And then here, the y coordinate of this line is, and then we'll leave it at that. Now, first, I want to define what the output is. And by that, I mean, what what is y? Is y a number? Is y a letter? If you think about it really quick, y in this case is a value. It has the value mx plus b. So it is an integer value. That's what we call numbers in programming. So to define that here, so I'll output an integer value in that print f statement, we want to do parentheses i. Ignore the error, error sign right now, or the red underline, I should say. Now we want to define what this value i gets in our f printf. So here, after the single quotation mark, we do comma, and then we just type in y. And then you can see right away, it goes away. And <clears throat> quickly note that this parentheses i gets the value y. That y goes into the first parentheses i in the fprintf statement. So if we wanted to have more variables in our fprintf statement, we could just do parentheses i, and then we can just type in m. And then m would go into the second parentheses i in the fprintf statement. Let me just delete this here for you guys for clarification. Okay. Now, everything is done in the program. We created a simple equation of a slope. But for every function you create in MATLAB, you have to remember one thing. You have to remember to end it. This is very crucial. Otherwise, your program will not work the way you want it to work. Now I'm going to go to save. I'm going to say save as. I'm going to name this slope equation. I'm just going to put it on my desktop for now. Press save, and then I'm going to go back, and then I will type in. Here is where we, on the command window, we will call our function. To call our function, we just type in something like this. Slope equation, input value 1, input value 2, input value 3. Notice that there is three inputs to this equation and one output as we have it defined in the code itself. So here I'm just going to put something like 4, 5, 6. Let's see if it works. Fingers crossed. And it works. The y coordinate of this line is 26. Please feel free to pause this video at any time to see if you're stuck on something, replay something. And if there's any other conf confusions, you guys can email me. My email is marcosgurgis at gmail.com. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.